Sure, a lot of the surf vlogs are based around very similar thing, like coming to Bore Traw, it's four to six foot cranking. Do you ever feel a bit of Groundhog Day with, with all of this? I feel every day I wake up on the West Coast of Ireland with my Groundhog Day. It's the same thing. He's still stoked. I want to give us a quick surf report, John, before you get changed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, today is day one of this amazing swell. It's the best swell of the year, and surf is eight foot. I can see outside Bore Traw there. And spring is in the air. March is coming, and it's yeah, the surf is absolutely pumping. So, but it's going to be pumping for day after day. Today's Tuesday, it's going to pump. Wednesday's going to pump. Thursday's going to pump. Friday, it looks like we could be at the cliffs on Friday. So hopefully, myself and Stuart, Stuart, we're going to go to the cliffs and we're going to film. And maybe I'm going to, I'm going to pray that I catch a wave. What's the you were saying about California, John? Um, the cost of living. No, you were saying how Ireland is the place to be. I think, I think Ireland is the place to be, Stuart. Go back to your roots, John.
Roger. I like this look. Dead cat. <sighs> dead cat. Dead cat like that. That's it called a dead oh, cat. That vest got me through a lot, Stuart. I'm I had a lot of good experiences with that vest. I'm glad. <laughs> Kept me alive that one. I'm glad that it did for you. Hand it over to me. Safety first. As you can tell, we are very elite, elite water safety team. I don't like close ups, I like to stay far away from the camera <laughs> as possible. <laughs> You make it look too easy.
I'm seeing life through a little screen, John Bob. I'm, I'm seeing life through a little square. Oh my goodness. Well, it was really epic to surf those waves today. Um, I haven't surfed big waves in a year. It's been a year since I've surfed at the Cliffs Moor. And I was out there with another very experienced uh, big wave surfer, Fergal, and he was saying the same thing. He hadn't surfed big waves. So I was just, yeah, when you don't surf really giant waves uh, in a long time, you're just absolutely terrified. So I was delighted to get out there to watch the lads, myself and Stuart filmed uh, for half an hour, but then it was time to get off the jet ski and to just try and catch a wave myself. And so I was so stoked, uh, caught one wave and then I missed a few, just the fear started taking over and I was just praying. And yeah, thankfully I got a, a second wave. So I was really stoked. There was an absolute perfect the best wave ever it could have been my best wave ever came in and it was uh, big and maybe dangerous and i just chickened out at the last minute but today uh, we're celebrating saint patrick's day and you know saint patrick was taken slave to ireland and i just want to think about patrick and fear and anxieties anxieties are relevant today but saint patrick was taken captive he escaped back to his home he trained then to be a, a, to be a servant of the Lord, to, to serve Jesus Christ. But he came back to the place of his captivity, the place where he was a slave. And talking about overcoming fears, Patrick like came back to Ireland because God called him he, in, a, in a vision, in a dream. You can read about it, Patrick's writings, it's called the Confessio of Patrick. But he came back to Ireland but just overcoming incredible fears. Again, he could have been taken captive. Again, he could have been killed. But Patrick came back because he knew the call of God. God had called him to come to Ireland to tell Ireland the good news of Jesus Christ, the Savior, uh, the one who, who made the whole thing, the, the God of creation. And so I just get a lot of inspiration from Patrick. And there's this verse that I was reading this morning to get courage and I know that St. Patrick knew uh, this verse uh, because when you read Patrick's writings there's so much Bible in, in Patrick's writings and this is what the verse says be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go so God says to his servant he says have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. So when I was out there today at the Cliffs Moor, just the size of those waves, they were just massive. It was one of the best days at the Cliffs Moor uh, ever or in years. It was truly an amazing day. But just the fear levels, I couldn't actually physically paddle for a wave. I was so scared. So I was just praying and thank God, I overcame my fears, my anxieties two times. Uh, but at the end, it was just too much. I just was like, no, I'm done. But but again, Patrick's story, I'm sure he, he didn't walk around Ireland like a superhero. He walked humbly just knowing that God was in control of his life and that God had a plan for his life, that God wanted Patrick to tell people the good news about eternal life, about the peace of knowing God, and that that was all made possible when Jesus died on a cross and rose again 2,000 years ago. So I just want to celebrate Patrick today. I thank God that we live in a country with uh, all the benefits of Christianity, um, tolerance, compassion, human rights, the, this idea that each individual person has integrity, inbuilt worth and value. It's a completely Christian idea. International human rights are based on the Bible. So all these benefits that we have today, uh, an ordered society, instead of being fearful of the king and fearful of the druids and fearful of superstition uh, Patrick came to tell us about a, a world where, where God is good God is in control and that God wants to know you and me and that he loved us so much that his son died on a cross that's how much value you are worth that's how much value I am worth that 
that God's son would have died for you or me alone. That's how loved we are. That's how, that's how much in, inbuilt uh, integrity and dignity each of us have. That, and that's what the Bible says, that we've been uh, wonderfully and fearfully made and that, that we are made in the image of God. And so I just thank God for Patrick. And I'm glad I survived today. Stuart and I both survived. And it was an epic, and we haven't done it in a long time. And Stuart and I, uh, we haven't seen each other much lately, but we just connected and both just uh, looking out to sea. It's fearful, but we got out there. We survived. God was with us, and uh, we can we can tell the good news about what God did through Patrick and what God wants to do through you and me. God wants to use our lives to tell people the good news of Jesus Christ. So catch you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day from La Hinch. God bless. And it was freezing. Okay. Yeah. Nice.